Hey guys, it's your boy Sack back with today's video. Now, coming up next week, we got the Bahrain Grand Prix. The f are you saying, Sack? I know it's the Jezzer Grand Prix. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, on to the video. Now, I did a prediction from the last race. Gonna do a prediction for this one as well. Didn't go too well, but we've learned from the last one. I think I'm gonna get at least more points in total this time when it comes to the right people at the right places. So, without further ado, we're gonna work our way from bottom and then up to top, even though I don't think you'll be surprised who's at top. 20th and 19th, because I'm saying, again, two people DNFing, but I'm not saying the same people. I said Sainz and Paris last time, going back from that. This time, I'm putting Merchant Albon. He, and because it's a really tight track, him and Mr. Angry himself, Yuki Tsunoda. Those two are gonna crash. It's a tight track. I think Albon's gonna get top a part of the 10th, 11th, 12th, or 9th. Same with Yuki. He's fast on tracks like this. I think they'll clash in the first corners or during the race. So, my prediction those two go coming in the last spots. Then, I'm it's sad to say I do like this man, but Oscar Piastri, position 18. The car looks terrible. I just don't see any way that I, they can make it better right now. They got upgrades coming in, in Imola, I think it is, but as it is now, there's no way I'm seeing them making big changes when it comes to the car. So they're gonna struggle at the back of the grid. Next up, a guy who did well last race, but I don't think he'll do as well. Like th That's the difficult part about this, is finding all the spots to put people in, in my opinion. We got Nick DeVries. He's still on the way up, he's learning he had a good race. I don't think it'll be points worthy yet. This track is really difficult as well. It's a new one. Not a lot of people has had time to practice on it. So yeah, I think he'll he'll be struggling with this one. And I think there also might be a lot of crashes this race. Next up, the second McLaren, Norris. He did well. He had engine failures. You know, that's going to mess with your confidence. The car is so limited about its its potential when it comes to race time and he might have a good qualifying but when it comes to the race it's just gonna slow him down and this is we're talking about a really fast track here and with a bad car that's really gonna you're gonna suffer from that 15th we got guan shu Zhou, first guy on the yellow tier again it didn't have a good race i could be wrong about this i've been going back and forth when i chose who to put people but i think he's gonna end up here bottas had a good race i think it won't be as well this time and that that's what we saw from the alfa romeo last season it started out really well and then it got progressively just worse and worse and joe hasn't really shown his quality yet but hey prove me wrong please do and we'll see about it next up now i might be really wrong about this but i think magnuson it's gonna do really really well and well as i'm saying they're gonna come over a lot of people even though hulkenberg out of everyone had a really good qualifying but then lost a lot of pace during the race that's why i don't think the haas is where it needs to be to get points yet i think they will do better than the mclaren but when it comes to the rest of cars i think when they're the second slowest team on the grid in my opinion and i think they'll pay for it after that a guy who freaking impressed me logan Sargent. he might even get even higher with that car because the williams doesn't look that bad this year but he doesn't have the the skills yet to use it properly. He struggled in the qualifying races. He had opportunities but wasted them. So yeah, I'm putting him there. Next up, Hulkenberg. Boom. He's taking him in 12th, just shy of getting points. He impressed. Maybe he'll get point, like get some points up there. But again, I just don't think the Haas is fast enough to get points. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm sticking him in there for now. Next up, the time merchant, the penalty king. The man himself who manages to always get more and more penalties jesus christ he has to he, he actually did well in qualifying he just managed to mess up the car so badly i've never seen anyone have such a bad race so yeah Ocon going in 11th the only person who doesn't get points out of the top bottom that sentence made no sense now 10th who gets the one point i think it's gonna be Bottas. i think he'll get one point the car is still good his skills are still good i think he'll have a decent qualifying and race pace wise i think he'll he'll he'll, he'll manage his tires that's the that's where we see the the knowledge come in ninth now a person that impressed me it looked really bad in the race and then he turned it around so ghastly i think ghastly he will have a good race he'll work his way up if he has better qualifying he might even stay up there and get even higher than what i put him but he's not used to the car yet it's gonna take him a little while but when he does i think him and Akon, they can really be trying to go for that fourth fifth 
spot when it comes to points if they can get a consistent ratio when it comes to the the car then eighth sad to say it russell sticking in eighth gotta stay there buddy you he didn't look too well in the race hamilton looked better I'm, i could probably switch those two those two around then as i say that hamilton going in seventh i just don't see it being possible for them to get anywhere further than this when it comes to the car hamilton might challenge signs or a stroll but the car just isn't good enough and it's going to take time for them to fix it then science coming in sixth as i said now i know some people are going to be surprised but i'm a big fan of that as martin if stroll's hands are better he gets a few days more off before he's back in if he keeps that car going as well as alonso did with his skills as martin might be going for second place this season like i'm not even joking this could be really really interesting if you ask me now after science as you might have guessed i didn't think he would do this well but stroll stroll is going in fifth and I'm, I, I will be surprised if he doesn't do better than this. Fourth, Alonso. Boom. Just misses out on podium. He got a podium last time. I think Ferrari will have fixed the problem with the car. So, as you can guess, this is going to be a very basic top spot. Leclerc going third. Perez second. And Max just destroying everybody. It's We're talking about a fast track here. The car is just fast. There's, there's no way no one's going to... If he gets podium... And he doesn't fuck up and doesn't have engine failures. He's just going to stay up front and have fun. Because there's no way anyone's going to him, catch him. So that's my prediction. Let's check back at it after Sunday. And peace.